Coming into the 2018 season, Miguel Andujar wasn't sure if he'd even be on the Yankees' opening day roster. The Yankees just acquired Brandon Drury from the Arizona Diamondbacks, and he was on track to be their starter at third base. Andujar was the odd man out, and it was looking like he was a backup infielder at best. Miguel only managed to be with the club to start the season because outfielder Aaron Hicks was placed on the disabled list. However, a week later, Miguel got a shot when Brandon Drury was moved to the DL while dealing with migraines. This was a spot Miguel never intended to give up, and he's been turning heads around the league ever since. Currently, Miguel is the projected favorite to win the American League Rookie of the Year, and he's had a pretty crazy journey to get where he is today. Miguel is on his way to being a star in the MLB, and is part of a dangerous Yankee core of young talent. From humble beginnings to the top AL rookie, here's how it all began. Born in San Cristobal, a poor small town in the Dominican Republic, Miguel loved the game of baseball from a young age. In an interview with the Daily News, Andujar talked about one of the most meaningful gifts he received as a child, his first baseball uniform. Andujar began getting attention from scouts at just 12 years old. This led him to joining Basilio Vizcaiano's baseball program, an organization that also produced Yankees catcher Gary Sanchez. Andujar continued to impress in the Dominican League, and in 2011, the Yankees signed him for $750,000 at age 16. He made the most of the limited resources he had as a child and was signed by one of the premier organizations in all of baseball. This early success was just the start for Miguel. He began a long journey in the minor leagues in 2012 when he made his professional debut with the Gulf Coast Yankees. In just his second year in the minors, Miguel hit 323 with the Gulf Coast Yankees too. Each year, Miguel moved up in the minor league ranks, and in 2017, he put up an impressive line across AA and AAA, batting 299 with 17 home runs, 73 runs scored, and 86 RBIs. That same year, he was called up to the Yankees for a five-game stint, where he hit 571. On top of that, in his first game, he became the only Yankee player ever to have three hits and four RBIs in his first game played. This was a very small sample size, but Miguel is showing this season that it was no fluke. Entering this season, it looked like the AL Rookie of the Year was Shohei Otani's award to lose, and the dual threat pitcher and hitter was nothing short of electric in the early going. However, he's been limited with injuries and has only pitched in nine games thus far and hit in 80. Then, going into the All-Star break, it was Glaber Torres who appeared to be the clear-cut favorite for the Rookie of the Year. Glaber was named an All-Star after hitting 294 with 17 home runs and 42 RBIs in just 63 games. Unfortunately, Glaber went on the DL in early July with a hip strain and would not match that production when he returned. Behind the scenes during all of this was Miguel Andujar, who was extremely consistent and productive for the Yankees, who now sport the second best record in all of baseball. As of September 2nd, Andujar is hitting 301 with 23 home runs, 76 RBIs, and 71 runs scored. What makes Andujar stand out as a hitter is his lightning fast bat speed and consistent swing through the zone. He currently leads all MLB rookies in home runs, RBIs, batting average, doubles, and is second in runs scored. He was named the AL Rookie of the Month in June and is a big reason why the Yankees are on pace for 102 wins. Barring a late season push by Otani or Glaber Torres, Andujar is the clear favorite for the AL Rookie of the Year. When asked if he could picture all of this when he was younger, Andujar responded, you don't really think about all the possibilities that much. At the time, you're just playing baseball because you really enjoy the sport. You're out there to have fun, and I still go out there to have fun because I love the sport. Andujar is a special talent, and according to Yankees international scouting director Donnie Rowland, Andujar might not have hit his peak yet. Miguel has overcome every obstacle he's come across through hard work and determination. His love for the game is infectious, and he's quickly gained respect in the Yankee clubhouse by his teammates and coaches. Very excited to see how Andujar closes out the 2018 season, and he's definitely a guy to keep an eye on going forward. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe, it really helps out the channel. If you have any suggestions for future videos, let us know in the comment section below.